Hello guys, my name is Arsalan. Welcome back to my channel and today we will be solving a new lead code question that is maximum product of three numbers. So we will be solving this question with the help of Python and so the question says given an integer array nums, find three numbers whose product is maximum and return the product. So uh, before starting this question, please guys do subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon button, hit the like button and uh, let's read out the question then. Uh, so the question says uh, you have already read the question and uh, let's understand it with some example here so question input is nums one two three and we got the product as six so what actually we have got we have to we have to return the maximum product of the values inside the array so maximum product is six here 102 into three and in if we talk about here a num so maximum product would be maximum three numbers are two into three into four so we have got 24 so actually you have got a rough idea here that we have f that nums maximum product should be the maximum number like max one max two max three so last one into uh, sorry two into three into four which will give us the maximum output okay so if we have an input here as okay so let's discuss it here in the comment section where I can put some comment here and let's create like nums is equals to 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6 into 7 so we can put multiple values here so we will be getting what maximum product as nums is equals to uh, actually 7 into 6 into 6 so this is what we will be getting here so we got a rough we got to got a rough idea that the last three digit will give us maximum value okay so let's create uh, some variable here prod1 is equals to nums minus one my nums minus two nums minus three so we have the for for targeting the last three digit the last uh, last last la, la, for last digit we will be getting uh, targeting it minus one and last one digit uh, last second digit will be targeting the minus two and the last third digit will be targeting your minus one so this is all the python indexing but that there is a trick in this question that if nums are negative because it can have negative values as well so what if it has value values like minus 10 minus 3 uh, minus uh, 2 4 and minus 9 so what will be the output here the output would be obviously if we multiply negative numbers twice so if we sort this array first we have to sort this array so if we sort this array what we will be getting we will be getting minus 9 Oh, sorry the low, low, the smallest number is minus 10 here so we'll be getting my after sorting the value minus 10 minus 9 minus 3 4 so we will be sorting this array here nums is equal to nums nums dot sort and we have sorted when you sorted this array you see that we have to target these two first two values here which will give us the maximum output means nums is equals to first two digit in the array here and the last one digit here okay so which will give the output is a minus 10 into minus 9 into 4 if i would have uh, got 7 here so like 4 6 7 7 so i would have used here 7 so you have got my idea point here that when we multiply first two digit and one one digit here so we will be getting this so we have got two conditions here that prod one is multiplying all the positive if all the values are positive then we will multiply the last three digit however if there are a negative number we will sort the array first and then we will get the prod two as 
nums zero index n two nums one index and into nums minus one index okay so in between those, those two we will returning the maximum out, out of those values so we will saying prod one and prod two so i i think you have got my point here that first of all we will be checking for if it is a positive value and between all those in or between uh, these two values pro positive and negative or negative so prod one is positive one and prod two if there are some negative values is as well so between these two values we will find the maximum between these two and return that's for the right value so if you run this code you can get see that we do got have our answer here so you can see we will we can apply for multiple test cases including the negative as well okay so let's try for this as well and let's check out that whether this is working as well or not you see that for we have tried multiple test cases and we have input our or uh, our value as well so all the values are working here so we do got have our answer so trick was here to sort the array first and then point out two condition prod1 and prod2 so let's we can write it in one line as well we can see that uh, instead of writing it this we can also write it like this return max this and this so okay so if we comment out this thing here and run this code it should still it still work so let's let's erase this thing here and erase this thing here as well and now i think you have got my point here so this was all in the tutorial and the question guys i hope you have liked the video hope you will subscribe to this channel and comment in the comment section that you have understood the concept thank you guys for watching the video see you next time